Hey guys, what's up? Christine DeSilva here coming at you from the Exumas. We just got back from a successful deployment of four deep sea brubs, faded remote underwater videos, also called landers. Our brubs were made uh, with a collaboration with Dr. Brennan Phillips' lab at the University of Rhode Island. They're very unique. There are fewer than eight of them in the world right now. So you're getting a nice look at some very unique, very up-to-date tech. First, I'll show you our release. So the way that they work is we drop them down to the sea floor and attached to the bottom here will be a weight. These are our edge tech releases. In order to get these back, we need to make sure that the weight releases. And then up top here, we have our floats, along with our flag here so that when it comes up to the surface, it's easier to see. We also have a VHF radio here, so that one we can also use to find it. Here, I am holding our battery housing. So I have external batteries in here for both the camera and for our two lights here. This is the camera housing and inside we have a GoPro. The way that this closes is I'll take off the four screws here and open it up and take the camera out. Close it back down when I'm ready to go and screw these back in. So we're sending these down to 3,000 feet, 1,000 meters. And when you send something down into the deep ocean, you're going to have issues. We are still working on the technology. This is an area where Literally no one has ever seen this, the floor here. No one has ever put cameras where we're putting them. And there's a very strong possibility that we're going to see species that have not been described before. We're going to see species that no one has ever seen before. So yes, the technology is absolutely new. The technology is exciting. Sometimes we have issues, but we're doing something here that's completely innovative. So what I'll actually do is I'll show you how these plugs work. So I'm going to turn on the lights for us. There you go. And it's really important that we have these lights on there because we're dropping these into areas where there is no light. We're going into the deepest parts of the ocean where there is no light from the sun anymore. The only light that we might see is bioluminescence, that light that's created by the animals or their uh, symbiotic algae itself. And when you actually watch the footage, you can see as the camera goes down, it starts in the part of the ocean where you have light and it gets darker and darker and darker until there's no light down there except for our own light. On the footage, you can see from the camera the bait right here that's being lit by our lights. And that's super important because then we're now able to see all of the animals, scavengers, and predators that are coming to our bait. So thanks to this new BRUV baited remote underwater video technology, we've been able to capture some incredible footage of species that were previously unknown to science and species that we didn't even know went that deep. So we've extended the range of many species we previously thought did not actually go as deep as we have now found that they do. When we send these down, we can get up to about 13 hours of footage on one drop. On this trip, we're only doing a five hour drop. So we drop them in the morning, we go off, we do other research for the rest of the day, and then five hours later, we go back and we pick them back up using the acoustic release system here. So thanks to these grubs and the footage that we've been able to capture, we've been able to find new things to science. And that includes extending the range of things like different grouper species. We've been able to find many different gulper shark species. We see them oftentimes here in the tropics. We're in the Exumas right now. In fact, we watched a video of one of them on our grubs last night. My favorite clip actually is of an incredible six gill shark. It came, it was probably nine, 10 feet and it came up to the camera. You can see its eye rolling and almost checking out the grub and then just slowly gliding by. That's my favorite footage. Uh, but we've been dropping these grubs all over the eastern seaboard of the United States. So we've dropped them off of Stellwagen, which is just north of Cape Cod in Massachusetts. And we've seen um, schools of dogfish up there. And we're also dropping them here in the Caribbean where we're seeing crazy octopuses, different squid, and incredible invertebrates that I still personally don't know the species of yet, but that's why we have specialists that we can send the video off to. So thanks to the footage that we're getting from these bros, 
We're able to not only see different organisms, but also look at the environment as a whole. And so we're able to look at the sea floor, and that then also helps us know which environments are going to be the most biodiverse and which environments are probably the most important to protect. So not only are we you know, doing exploration for exploration's sake, because it's awesome, it's cool, we're seeing new things, but we're also able to take data from these videos and use it to further conservation and science efforts. If you have any further questions, please drop a comment below and make sure that you subscribe to our channel. This, you know, this is our baby. <laughs> so just hold it, hold it for a second, I'll just pull it. Oh, I'm, trying, I'm trying to be natural. I'm trying to, fig trying to figure out what's a natural way to do this. Like, <laughs> the natural way is now. Wonderful.